Hey guys, Jess here and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Today I am with Kiki here and we are waiting for Nicole to get back because she went out with Roxy to try to find a way out of the mines. And I, well, I honestly wanted to go myself because we could mine through this place. I mean, it wouldn't be such a big deal just to, you know, mine out of way. But honestly, if we pop up in the wrong area, we could be surrounded by Okasis guards and I don't want that to happen, especially if we get caught and Kiki is left down here. So Nicole Cole volunteered to go out with Roxy, find a way out of here that's safe, and I'm here with Kiki, and she's just been really, I don't know, she's been mumbling things in her sleep a lot, like, Boldoff, please don't leave me, things like that. I know she has, like, this past relationship with Boldoff where she saved him when he was a pup from Hunters, and she took the blunt of the repercussions of that, but still, it's just, I don't know, she's just been really avid lately and this pendant thing this whole pendant i don't know what it is about this what is with zane and these just like weird things he gives to people i don't trust it at all i don't even think i should be carrying it but honestly i can't afford to leave it it's evidence against him and if we're ever going to accuse him of something especially in his position i think it's yeah i know kiki i think it's great that we just have something on our side so we're gonna keep the diamond necklace um that he gave to alexis and we're also going to keep this that we can give to zoe that way maybe she can put a barrier around it and you know just make sure that it's safe from anyone it doesn't hurt anyone anymore anyway i think the thing that we're going to do right now is we're just gonna wait for nicole to come back because we honestly don't have any other options i I mean, I could look through her stuff, see what she's got, but I don't think that's really nice. Even though she has banana nut bread, which I kind of want to take, but we're not going to get into that. Um, yeah, so I think it's best is I just wait for Nicole to get back here. Well, speak of the devil, seriously. I, that was perfect timing, Nicole! How did it go? Okay, so with Roxy's help, we were able to mine out another way, however... I have a feeling I know where this is going. Don't tell me. Yep, they're out there. All of those Ocasis guards. Wait, do you think that maybe... Afmao, go check by the ladder. Maybe after they saw you and Kiki weren't there anymore, they decided to go check in the, in the wilderness. It's possible that we might be able to escape out of the house. Quickly, go check. All right, I'm on it. I can do this. I'll make sure I find out what's going on over there. All right, so let's see. Hopefully, I mean, I... The only problem that I see, Nicole, is that... She knows I can't mine through bedrockium. She has those iron fist things. I can't even... I mean, this is gonna be just an effort. This is gonna be so futile. This is gonna be like the worst thing. Oh. Nah. What? So... So they're still up there. I can hear them, too. Alright, so... Okay, so there's a... There's a guard up there? I guess I could just hear them. I don't understand exactly... Okay, well, I know that there's... Whoa, we dug up all the wood here. It's not like she could have broken through the bedrockium. <laughs> not me, but still. Um, alright, so they are up there. They're talking about us, too. I kind of want to stay here and listen to the conversation. Maybe, should I? No, what if they hear me? <gasps> they, I can hear them, they can hear me. No, I, I don't want to stay. I don't want to stay. Nope. Oh, it was. His father got so angry at him after running that ruining that engagement... Between him and the daughter of Picoro Village, haha. <laughs> Zane is such an idiot sometimes, don't tell him I said that. Nope, not a word. Where the heck could she have escaped from? We dug up all the wood here. Okay, alright, yeah. I don't need to... I don't need to hear any more of this. They're up there, Nicole. They're still up there. <sighs> I don't know what to do. So they're still there. Darn it. Hmm. Well, we don't have much of a choice then, do we? We have to sneak out of the exit Roxy and I found. Um... We... I mean, we might as well fight our way through. Yeah. I'd be honored to fight at your side, but I don't think we can take them by ourselves. With Kiki sick, they're sure to use her as collateral if they catch us. No, you need a disguise. What? They know what you look like. If they see you, they are more than likely to attack us. If you look completely different, then we might be able to sneak by them with our lives intact. Um, that sounds great, but how... Where... Yeah, how where am I going to get a disguise? Leave that to me. Look, do you think that I'm what I'm wearing right now is what I how I really look? I've been running from my father for weeks. I've had to adapt to my surroundings. You can use some of the clothes and hair dye I acquired. Um, hair dye? Wh what? You don't like dyeing your hair? All right, fine. We'll use a similar variant to what you already have. That way, you at least feel comfortable. But it still has to be done. Do you really want to get married against your will? 
uh, if he's got lots of money, then maybe. <laughs> no, I don't. Then let me work. Then let me get to work here. I promise I can change you back when this whole fiasco is over. Just for now, trust me. Um, I still trust you. Thanks. Now let's get to work. All right. So what do I do? Do I go sit down or something? I guess I can do that. I'll sit right here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I guess I gotta take off my armor. So, there we go. And, uh, what is you... Yeah, you're... What are you holding in your hands? What color would you like for your hair? A blackish blue or a blackish purple? Um, <laughs> that's no contest. Blackish purple. Gotcha. Now hold still. Okay, I can do that. Okay, now that that's done, um, what do you got in your hands? Hmm, do you like clothes that are smaller or clothes that are longer? Um, clothes that are... If you're wearing... If you're holding that skirt in your hands, clothes that are longer... Clothes that are smaller it is. I did not say that. Look, we're putting you in a disguise. If we pick everything you like, then they're going to know it's you based on your tastes. I let you have your hair color. Now you have to trust me on this. Close your eyes again. Ah, fine. She put jewelry on me. <gasps> I'm wearing a bracelet. What did you do? What do you think? Snazzy, huh? You look like a princess. Kind of. Now let's get moving out. I'm not expecting to come back here for a few weeks, so I've taken all the things that mean something to me. I'll follow you when you're ready. Also, if we run into any guards, be sure to play it casually. Don't antagonize them and don't jump to conclusions unless they're about to grab their weapon. Alright, let's grab Kiki and go. Okay, but I haven't even gotten a chance to look at myself. I want to see what I look like. Let me take a look. <gasps> I look so pretty! I look like a princess! <gasps> I wish she was right! I do look like a princess! I really like it! I like it, but at the same time, it's... There's too much, there's too little clothes! Okay, I don't know what to think, but I, what, what does the back of me look like? I want, I want to see the back. <gasps> what is she, how, did, what are, how does she... Wait, is this a, like... Am I wearing like an extension or something? What? I like it. I still like it. You, I don't know if the crown is necessary, to be honest, Nicole, but I, I really like this. Okay, alright, so she's ready to go, and we gotta get Kiki. Alright, Kiki, come on. Let's get going, and let's go ahead and head out with Nicole. Alright, I got Kiki. Come on, Nicole. Let's get going. Alright, so Nicole and Roxy are coming too. Good. Alright, so I'm glad they got all their stuff. Let's go. Just to make sure they get out the door. Um, I've, I mean, I've never really traveled with anyone outside of the lasso. Can I just break that? There we go. All right. Yes. All right. So, I, yeah, I've never really traveled with anyone out of the lasso. So this is a first for me. Well, I mean, yes, I have. And the last time I did, Lawrence got trapped in the shadow. Whatever. Anyway, um, let's kind of ignore it for now. So I'm assuming that these candles are the ones that Nicole put down. So let's go ahead and follow them. Because I don't, I, didn't, I know I didn't put those down. I put the torches down. Uh, the torches on the walls down. So, is, is that the one? Yeah, there's a candle down there. Aw, oh, yeah, Nicole, you found it! You guys follow, keeping up? And is Roxy there too? Foxy, Roxy, I'm sure she's there. Roxy the Foxy, I, I, I don't even know. Okay, so let's see. That's not where we have to go. Even though it's really dark down there. I'm glad you guys found this way out. I'm just really nervous about what we're going to find up there, especially with all the... <sighs> Let's see. <gasps> okay, alright. There's the way, and where does this lead to? Where does this... Pigs. Great. Pigs, and Nicole is here. Alright, so she's got her sword. I got mine. Let's come up here. There's a zebra. Wait, is that... That's Brightport. That's a tree that I saw on top of, um, that house. That's Yeah, that's Brightport, alright. Alright, let's see if we can... <gasps> Should I sneak past that? I got a disguise on, so should I even... Let's see, if can I get close to them without them... What do you... Yeah, I... Let's see. You there. What are you and this other woman doing in these caves? Uh... We are the hottest cave miners you've ever... Wait, he's walking away. We're the hottest cave miners you've ever seen, I guess! That's a, we've been... Yeah, we've been camping and mining in the caves. Miners, but you're... Well, you two don't look like cave miners, I've, but I've seen worse. Alrighty, fine. I see you have an arctic fox, so you must be telling the truth. Those little buggers are fantastic for sensing cold air climates. No wonder you guys felt comfortable camping in the caves. You're free to go. <laughs> I could slap him? Or thanks? Thanks? 
By the way, we're currently looking for a fugitive. She's got black hair, a purple top, and black shoes. She often She's often found in diamond armor, but was last seen wearing a flower band on her head. She also has an accomplice that has red hair, a pink shirt, and an apron with a heart on it. If you see these two and apprehend them, there is a 1,000 emerald reward for them alive. Be sure to tell your friends. Now I'm really worried. Um, but... How could you not recognize? Okay, whatever, fine. I guess, well, I guess I look different by a, yeah, I do look very different, but okay, so if that's Brightport, I can't go there. So the wolf tribe should be around here somewhere. Um, let's see, Nicole, you coming? All right, Nicole's coming this way, and we got Roxy there too. So let's see. <gasps> yes, I knew the wolf tribe wasn't too far from there. All right, so let's go ahead and go in. Nicole? Wait. Nicole? Why'd you stop following me? Hey, I'm going to wait on the outskirts of the werewolf village, okay? Uh, what's wrong? I know you had mentioned them being your friends, but I just don't know them like that. I'm sorry. I'm sure they're lovely, but it's just this thing I have. I'll wait out here for you, and if I feel comfortable, maybe I'll come and meet them. If you need me, I'll be camping out here with Roxy. Okay. Alright, yeah, I... I completely understand, Nicole. I mean... I know, like, a lot of humans and werewolves have had, like, tension and stuff, but still. Um, alright, so if you feel comfortable doing that, I'll be in the werewolf village. I will come and find you in a little bit. Um, hopefully they recognize me when I get there. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? And wow, the village looks really empty. Like, really empty. Did something go wrong? Kiva? Kiva? <gasps> I remember you! Sister Afma, long time no see. She hugs and licks you. Oh my god. Wait, yeah. How did you know it was me? You can't fool a werewolf's nose, silly. I could smell your scent. Plus, Lowell said you were coming, so I was kind of expecting you. Where is Lowell? Lowell took the majority of the village out to defend our hunting grounds against the other wolf tribe. I sincerely hope he's okay, since he's next in line for pack leader. I'm afraid for him. Um, where is Bolov? Is he okay? Bolov is fine. He is in bad shape, but he's okay. He's inside his cave, and, um, Afma, when you see Boldoff, don't be afraid if he looks different. When werewolves are injured, they turn back to their natural form to try to get, to try to recover, um, the way nature intended. So, he'll look different. Um, oh, I was going to... Kiki? Huh? I can sense her, she's hurt! Quick, into the hut! What? What? Okay, fine, let's go! I mean, she can't be getting any worse, can she? Uh, she's just... Please, stay. I'm gonna stay here, Kiki. Are you talking about me, or are you talking about... I don't even know. Kiva, is she gonna be okay? Why didn't I feel her injured presence before? It's like her scent was absolutely different, and her presence was just... unseen. Is she... Has she come into contact with anything weird recently? Um... I could... Tell her of Zane and show her the pendant, yeah. This pendant isn't right. Something about it is... Afmao, do you mind if you leave it in the chest over there so I can observe it later? I'll keep Kiki here and practice my healing magics on her. I know hers are more powerful than mine, but we need Kiki to be in good condition in order to take care of Boldoff. I'll make sure she recovers as much as possible by tomorrow. Until then, you are free to roam around the village. Now, let me get to work. Okay, I can do that. You, Yeah, you take care of Kiki and I'll leave it in the chest. Uh, I don't think there's a chest around here. Kiva, but you know what? I have enough materials to make you one, and even if there was one inside, I don't think I would trust it to be around Kiki. I mean, I don't trust this thing without Zoe's magics to keep it in check, honestly. I, I really don't. So I'm gonna leave it right here. Um, the pendant, here's the pendant. You can have that to check it later, but again, I really should have brought Zoe with me. I really should have brought Zoe with me, because I think she would have made a, I don't know, I think she would have just made a better addition to just protect things from. Anyway, um, the village is completely, yeah, everyone's gone. Wow. And it's raining outside, too. I just noticed, wow, I just noticed that. Is the elder gone? The elder has to be here. He's not over there. No, he's not even here either. I guess they send everyone out, but let's go check on Boloff and make sure he's okay. Um, just keep going. Wow, I feel weird. I keep moving very awkwardly. Anyway, ooh, this place got bigger for some reason. Kiara! 
It is very, it is very, it is very good to see you, Sister Athma. I'm afraid Boldoff isn't here with us mentally to be able to welcome you, but know he appreciates your help in this matter. Now please, I must keep tending to his wounds, if you'll excuse me. That's him. He looks, he doesn't even look like he's standing up, like he just looks like a regular wolf. His eyes are open, but he's unresponsive. He's breathing, though, but heavily. Okay. All right, well, I'm glad he's... I'm glad he's responsive, at least, in some way, shape, or form. Now, <sighs> okay, so... Let's see, Kiva's got Kiki. Nicola's camping over there. I guess... I mean, what what's really left for me to do, aside from just... I guess I could gather some food, just to make sure everyone's okay. Uh, if I could just... No, I don't want to eat the food. I want to I gather the food. That way I could just keep things, you know... Going smoothly. Why can't I gather some of these things here? Like these potatoes. Oh, that's right. Because I don't have to just right-click. I could just grab these here. That's right. I had to destroy them. There we go. And maybe plant some more potatoes. So that way they don't think I'm stealing. I'm just trying to get some food for everyone since... It doesn't look like this village has been tended to in a while. I mean, nothing's changed. Granted, I'm not expecting change everywhere I go. But still, it's like... I would like to make sure everyone's okay. So let's just harvest these crops. And then we'll put them in the farm. And, um... Then I think we'll go and just... I know what we can check on. I don't know why it skipped my mind. We could check on the nether portal. The one that was broken before. Let's go check it and see. See what's going on over there. I don't know why I just... I just thought of that all of a sudden. Let's go see how that's doing. Um, Hopefully... Okay, so I'm completely full. My, my inventory is completely full. But let's go see what's going on over here. And... Alright. It's still off. But it's rebuilt. Again? Why would they even do that? Alright, well, it's their, it's their thing, their ritual, whatever, but as long as it's not active, I think that's the best thing. Okay, alright, so we got enough food, we got plenty of food, actually, for a little while, and until hopefully everyone comes back, we'll be fine. Alrighty, guys, well, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one, and until then, take care. Bye bye